In this video, you're going to study irregular past participle verbs by playing a game with me. Robert teaches English. Even my most advanced students have trouble memorizing irregular verbs, and particularly irregular past participle verbs. It is important to know these verbs if you want to use any perfect tense or if you want to use the passive voice. This game is a fun way to study those verb forms. So I'm here with my wife, Natalie. Hi. Uh, you may recognize her face uh, from other videos. And we're going to play the game. So we have a hat, and in this hat, we have a bunch of irregular past participle verbs. And we're going to take turns drawing from the hat. So let's say I draw one of the cards and I have red. So now I need to say, I have never read something. And what I'm trying to do is think of something that I have not done that I think or that I know Natalie has done. If I say I haven't done something and Natalie has done it, she will lose a point. So we start off with five points and you can keep track by writing them down or the easy way, just have your five fingers. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, I have never read a book ever she would lose a finger and lose a point. However, that would not work because I have read a book. You're not supposed to lie. That was just an example. So... All of their fingers. Well, you play, the, you, <laughs> <laughs> you play the game until there's one person left, and that one person is the winner. Since there's only two of us, as, since as, one, as, soon, as, as soon as one of us loses all of our fingers... Uh, the other person wins. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Okay. I think it's going to be a quick game. Okay. So again, you can get these words, these irregular past participle verbs, from my website. Um, I will leave a link in the description, and I will leave a link up here where you can find those. We wrote them down on pieces of paper. I think it's fun. You can print them out, too, if you want. There's a PDF. Or you can use your phone, some sort of app, whatever works for you. I feel like there's more. Oh yes, how can you, how can you participate at home right now? So if you have someone with you who will play with you, when we draw one of these, and we'll we'll show you what we drew. Hopefully you can see that. Oh man, I don't even know. But we'll tell you what word we drew. You can come up with your own statement. So let's say sworn. I could say, I have never sworn in a public building before. And then you could come up with your own. Uh, maybe I have never sworn at all. So you can come up with your own version based on the words that we draw. And you can play with whoever's with you. If you don't have anyone with you, you can simply play with us. Have your fingers ready, and then if I say something that you have done, put a finger down. If Natalie says something you have done, put a finger down. Who knows? Maybe you will beat us. <laughs> if you have more fingers left than whoever our winner is, you can, uh, you can declare yourself the winner and write in the comments below that actually you won the game. That would be mm. fun. So I think that's about it. Are you ready to begin, my love? I'm ready to beat ya. Natalie's my wife. Hi. <laughs> so I call her my love sometimes, it's okay. All right, um, why don't you go first? Okay. Drawing one of our cards. Hmm. So this is a fun one. What did first you get? First off, I got the word stolen. Stolen. <laughs> My my phrase is, 
I have never stolen candy from a friend. I probably have done that. Mm. When I was younger, I probably did that. I stole candy from a store when I was little, but I didn't steal it from a friend. Ooh. Yeah. So I am down to four now. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll remember that. Let's see here. Ah, I got swung, mm. which, as you know, is the past participle of swing. Mm -hmm. Let me think here. Swung. This is a hard one. Um, okay. I have never swung a, a badminton racket. <laughs> yeah. Badminton. <laughs> that, neither, neither have I. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. I just didn't know what else to say. Yeah. All right, your turn. That's what happens sometimes. That's what happens. When you have strange words come in. I got the word paid. Okay. I have never paid for a musical instrument. <sighs> this is not good. <laughs> I knew you were going to told you. slaughter me. Going down. Mm. Minu, do you want to play? Come on, Minu. I don't think she has five fingers Come on her here. palm. Okay. So I'm down <laughs> to three. All right. <sighs> Let's take a look-see. Ah, bet. I'm getting all these ones that I'm not going to be able to get a point off of you. Bet. Okay, bet. Let me think. Bet, bet, bet. Um. Can you guys hear those dogs? We got some dogs <laughs> in our neighborhood. Uh, I have never bet on horse races before. <laughs> you haven't either, have you? I've been to a horse race, mm. but I haven't been <laughs> on horses, no. I know my wife. I just don't know <laughs> what I could say with that particular word. Yeah, you're drawing some funny words there. <laughs> Never bet in a horse race. <laughs> you're very sweet. You're very okay. sweet. I think I'm just not doing well. Maybe I just haven't done enough. I don't know. She's a talented woman. Hmm, okay. I got the word driven. Mm. Past participle of the word drive. Driven. Um, I have never driven. I don't know about this one. I've never driven a boat. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> you have? Yeah, I've driven a boat. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm going to lose really quickly. <laughs> She has all five points still. I are, still do. How are you guys doing? Are you are you playing at home? You better be. <laughs> Have you driven a boat? <laughs> is is anyone losing as badly as I am? Is anyone winning as well as she is? Okay. Um, well, I guess it's my turn. Here we go. Choose carefully. By the way, we're using a lovely hat. <laughs> To keep our cards in. We suggest using a hat as well. A lovely hat. A lovely hat only. All right. I almost cheated. I almost saw what I was trying. Okay. Okay. We have one. Mm. One. <sighs> hmm. I feel like if I take enough time to think about this, yeah, take some maybe time. I can get something. One. What have you won that I have not won? Um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mm. This is rough. Okay. Uh, I have never, as far as I know, mm -hmm. I have never won the heart of a man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> There's an idiom for you, by the way. Won the heart of a man. What does it mean to win someone's heart, Natalie? To win someone's heart means that you, either intentionally or unintentionally, have made someone fall in love with you. And I... What is, well, there's another idiom, fall in love. Fall in love. What does that mean? That's true. <laughs> okay. So, if, in this case, 
I have won the heart of a man, it means that a man has become in love with me. I have a man in my life that is in love with me. In this case, it's true, and it's Robert. It's very sweet. It also made me lose a point, so bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have three points, so now we're getting a little more even here. Do you have three points still? I thought you had two last time, Jeff. Wait, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, really? Let's check the tape. Uh, that's fine. You can have three. Wait, hold on. One, two, three. One. Okay, yeah, mm. I have two. Because okay. I think you've gotten one for every single one of these, right? Yeah, you have. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Beaten. <laughs> uh, beaten. Beaten. This is kind of a violent note. I have never beaten your father at chess. Dang it. I know you so well. <laughs> I'm going to lose probably next time she draws. All right. That's okay. We'll play again. Yeah. This is, we don't have this is a fun game. Though. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, all right, I have one left, and it is my turn. What are you eating? Nice. Oh. Okay, nice. Done. 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 Hmm. Easy. Really? I have never done yoga in this apartment. <laughs> That's good. And none of you have done yoga in this apartment either. So, so y'all better, put your, finger better down. put your fingers down. <laughs> Everyone put your I fingers know, down. None of you have done that. When were you in our apartment? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Doing yoga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. That was a good one. I think you're really catching on to this game, Rob. Yeah. I have one, I have one point left. We'll see what happens. Okay. Please get a weird one. <laughs> I got the word stood. Ah, this one. No, she's going to think of something. Stood. I have never stood on the green banks of Loch Lomond. Oh! Mm -hmm. And just like that, I have lost the game. You have been beaten. <laughs> no! You have beaten me. I have won. Oh, <laughs> oh but that's okay. We'll put these ones aside and we'll play again. Yeah, let's that play went, again. I thought that, that went very quickly. I had a feeling it would. Okay, let's talk about some variations. Mm -hmm. So right now, we're playing with five points to start, five fingers. You could play with ten fingers. Or I guess you could get your toes involved. I would recommend doing ten fingers max. Twenty possible points max. With all fingers and toes. I think that's too, <laughs> too many. That's um, a long game. And then also, we do have the past participle verbs written here. But once you want to challenge yourself a little more, you can change these to the base verbs. And then you will have to remember the past participle verb. So this version of the game is good for starting to memorize them. Um, you'll have fun too, but once you feel comfortable and you want to challenge yourself, then switch these to just the base verb and then play in the version where you have to come up with the past participle yourself. But we're going to stick to the base version. We'll do one more round. Um, five fingers again. Five fingers again. Five fingers again. Okay. All right. 